Stakeholders have been called upon to support the government at all levels towards contributing their quota to the Society for Social Economic Development. The Director General, National Productivity Center, Abuja, Kashim Ako, who disclosed this while commissioning a project facilitated by Lagos West Senator Adeola Olamiliko, also laid emphasis on the importance of youth empowerment at the grassroots level. The senator, represented by the Director General Kunle Salako, said that the projects were to complement the government's effort at eradicating poverty and creating employment for the Timin youth. Uh, we believe that uh, the pavilion of this nation uh, has the potential of bringing about development to every community because uh, it will provide opportunity for the youths, uh, take, take them away from uh, crime because this is uh, a pavilion that can be used for game facilities, a pavilion that uh, has provisions uh, for some empowerment programs and activities. If you look at it, it has a hall where capacity building and other skill acquisition programs can be put in place. So we believe that this pavilion, just like any other empowerment program, has the potential of bringing about national development through coping of a youth restiveness and also provision of a employment opportunity for our people. Such training will continue going forward in 2022, before the end of this year. About 3,000 youth have been estimated. And I can tell you that at the end of this meeting, there's going to be a meeting with stakeholders across the senatorial district. We have invited all kinds of stakeholders to have a meeting with them on the training so that they will go back to their people and start preparing for that activity. So I can assure you that the training event will take place by the end of, before the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, we're still expecting uh, another Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.